Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Majestic Serial Clicks podcast. If you like our content, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. If you're interested in learning more about the Bronze Age and Majestic's Open Series, please check out the Open Series website. Also, if you want to learn more about Heroclix strategies, tactics, top lists, and strategies from the top players in the game, please visit the Majestic's Apex Insider site. Lastly, if you're looking for singles for Heroclix, please check out our eBay stores. All the uh, links for all the things are right below, below in the description. Again, my name is Jeff, and as always, my co-host Patrick. What's up, everybody? So, uh, how was your weekend? The weekend was cool. Uh, had a Heroclix tournament. Uh, yeah, so we tried. Have three, three trials. Yeah, three and out of the first rankings the are up. So we'll go through that. But um, let's get let's get like the new stuff out of the way. Let's do the. Let's do, there's some previews that came up like. Uh, over the weekend too, or last weekend, the rest like they yeah. they spoiled quite a bit now. Right, so, so I think doing... pretty much the whole set's spoiled, right? So we got to see yeah. some of the stuff. stuff is on ours. It's on our page too. Okay, so um, so yeah. Well, last time we looked at stuff was last Monday. So now the stuff we're looking for has been the more recent stuff. Yeah, right. there's. Like uh, two clicks had theirs today. Yeah, let's take a look at that first. And then also they had a couple of things on Twitter as well. Okay. So we will... the two clicks one. I think that that one has a lot of implications. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So Red Skull. Uh let's see. Power Elite. The power actions of the opposing character. Oh. Uh, power action. Opposing characters within X squares are double power action instead of... Okay, so that's good. X is the number of friendly characters with a power elite keyword in different names. Okay. Is it with so, the keyword and not this trait, right? It's just keyword? Yeah. Characters with the power elite keyword with different names. So something like, so this is actually pretty good. It's characters within. It's a, it's a double power actions. That's not bad. Um, I, I I've seen this. Some implications for Bronze Age would be like playing things like Thug, mm -hmm. right? Street not Thug. Yeah, Thug. The ten point Thug where he can get a yeah. keyword. So that would. So basically, you're paying ten more points to get a two on your as your X being two. Yeah. Oh, right? geez. Ten so, range. Um. Yeah. What what's it say within what x squares? Yeah, within x what, squares. Well, no, no, but x so is pa one. so power. Actions of opposing characters within x squares are double power actions instead. And no. x is the number of friendly characters with the power leak keywords with different names. Oh, yeah, so, so only one thug. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't yeah. matter about the range. You need to have multiple guys that have the keyword. So people are getting keywords. So that's why, like, um. Thug is one, yeah, right. Because easy plus one. He's yeah, easy, an easy one, right? Um, I know a lot of them are like around this point value, so it might be hard to get it more than one or two. But another thing would be something that says at the beginning of the game, pick a keyword. You get that keyword, like eternity, yeah. um, sable. something like that. Yeah, sable. No, but those are force construction guys. I'm talking. There's oh. stuff like if you look and Gandalf. Oh have that too say that again i lost your audio bring up nightwing from uh, dc10 night uh during your first turn choose a friendly character's keyword nightwing possesses that keyword for the rest yeah. of the game ah so he's another one but he won't do he won't like keep your theme because it's beginning of the turn and if you look up Gan i don't know which gandalf but there's a gandalf that does the same thing okay but it's probably like a lot of points though right yeah yeah like he's, he's 94 he's he's high but uh the the the, be the closest thing is thug yeah thug. Uh, you know i don't know uh, silver sable is another one because she's only 50 mm -hmm. uh, i don't know which other ones could just gain that are that cheap I i'm sure there are eternity like, I, I think at minute. the low dial is 75 can you look up uh 
Can you look up the enforcer guys? Like Ox or something? Yeah, enforcers. Pick one of them. Probably it. Uh. Right there. Uh, that's the one. Oh, read it. Read it. Oh. That was it. What? This one at the beginning of the game, yeah. choose a friendly character that can use leadership or mastermind, or and a keyword that character has. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh. Yeah. So for thirty so, points, yeah. That's another one. To, go back to uh, Red to Red Skull. Does he have mastermind? Yes. Top. And quick. he has leadership. Yeah. There cool. you go. For thirty Combos. points, like you can get this up because so he's only one hundred fifteen points. points. For this, three range. And then you, you know, you play Thug. Yeah. So that's uh, opposing squares within uh, X squares. So like we're up that's to three squares. Three for squares. 115 so points. We're, we're up to three. We're up to three. Hey. Woohoo. But double right, power actions are pretty good, though. I mean. Well, that's one thing that uh, Sheriff Strange messes up with ID right. cards. But this is everything. It's everything. Yeah. So, like, they can't. They can't. They, that means next turn, if they, if like, let's say they use, let's say they moved up to within whatever, and next turn they're gonna push to charge. Now they can't charge. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then it has sidestep style, it has leadership, and then what else? Shape change. Definitely it's, takes down the tent poles because they can. You double power action. They're definitely. You can, yeah, you can, yeah, you can do that. Of course, you're gonna have to like find a way to keep doing it. Yeah. But what's his uh, damage? Uh, leadership. Outwit, shape, change. When Red Skull uh, succeeds on leadership or shape change, give him a... Sub, sub, oh, no, it's a subverse. It's not a sub It's a subverse token. Red Skull can use Subversive? Outwit an additional time. Yeah, it's so small. Uh, use Outwit an additional time. You know, if you right-click and open it in the new window, it's going to be the big... Yeah, right-click and open new window. Now click on that. Damn. Yeah. There you Boom. go. All right. Outwit an additional number of times uh, this turn equal to the subversive to, uh, tokens. Okay. So, I mean, you were using him just for that. Um, we'll see if, if that can actually come into play, but I think it's pretty funny that you can just hope if you can get enough of the if you can get enough of the power elite keywords. That you yeah, can, you can just spread out a web of double power actions. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Come at me, bro. Uh, yeah. Push, push. Especially if they don't thing, have willpower. It's a good thing they have the with different names. That's good because you're not you just play thugs, right? Just play yeah, that'd be broken. Right, <laughs> the next one. Alrighty. This is the one right here. All right. So Alyssa yeah, this... told me about this ahead of time. Oh my god. Who did? Alyssa. She had oh. mentioned that she said she told me she's like you should stock up the Mandarin wing, rings. Like as soon as she came back from Worlds. Oh wow. And uh, I was like, why? She's like, there may or may not be a Mandarin that gets them all. <laughs> Dude, that is crazy. Yeah. So there's going to be at one point where he's legal and the Mandarin rings aren't, I believe. Um, depending, depending on rotation. There, yeah. When, when did the Mandarin rings come out? 2019? Yeah. They're, yeah. They're, yeah. There might be a time. Or they but, might just keep it. They might just keep it until he rotates out. Yeah. But I think he's pretty cool. Um, those mana oh. rings do a lot of cool powers. So go ahead and go over his stuff. So the rings of power during force construction, you may include any number of different Mandarin rings in quotations uh, objects on this card for three points each. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose up to two Mandarin rings uh, objects on this card, and Mandarin <laughs> can use its effects until nice. your next turn. Uh, Mandarin can't be equipped. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. So that's his. <laughs> that's his trait. Uh, so he goes from three to thirty points, and his point value is at seventy. So he's gonna yeah, max out at a hundred. You're probably not gonna be a hundred, uh, but yeah. There's yeah, some he's got, And then keep going. You can go through all this stuff. Uh, chi manipulation, toughness, traded. Uh, when Mandarin attacks a character with the armor keyword, that character can't use defense powers. That attack. Yeah. What a hater uh, on damage, Iron Man. Huh? What a hater uh, on Iron Man. I know, right? Uh, it has a damage power. It always comes at a price. Free. Choose this Outwit, Perplex, oh, or Probability Control. Oh! 
I do like this one. Oh. Uh, Mandarin can use the chosen power until your next turn. Or <laughs> you may instead choose all three powers, but if you do, at the end of your turn, deal him one unavoidable. I, I'd I'm say like, oh my God. that would be worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That, this, I think this guy's nuts. It's just now, it's just whether, it's like how to find the proper um, uh, proper number of A, proper number of uh, Mandarin rings to put on them, and yeah. B, which ones to put on them. So, so he has I feel like rings. that's going to be a thing. I mean, we're going to see. I feel like we're just going to get a lot of mandarins. Yeah, he has. So two big keywords right now are mystical and ruler. Oh, Jesus. He also has scientist in Bronze Age. Oh, yeah. Martial artist and the hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this hand. guy with oh, the hand, AT In Bronze Age. Oh, my God. You know, B, I just want I just want to play the 10, man, the ten rings and then power plant him. <laughs> so just, <laughs> like, so you just win? It's like, I have 20. I think. He's using his toes. So, um, I I feel like I'm gonna like reprice my Mandarin rings because I have yeah. I have so I have like a, like when uh, everybody came back from Worlds, uh-huh. I have like five or six, seven of each, you know, except for like the whatever the liar and the couple of them. You know, I only have like two or three because yeah. whatever the ones that came out at the very last. Okay. Yeah. Right. Like the, the, the uh, Worlds. Yeah, Worlds. Right. Well, yeah. these see these rings were hard to get. They weren't easy to get. Yeah. Um, well, so I hope they the make whiskets, them more accessible. The Whiskey's open ones were easier because they were participation. Yeah, that was like one or two of them, right? I don't know. Shit, I, I didn't. I didn't go to any last year. Um, but the rest of the rings, especially the ones that were released at World, weren't that easy to get. Yeah, his They're numbers are good too. Yeah, it's like eleven, ten, all the way down. Eighteen, seventeen, eighteen, all the way down. Is that those? Yeah. So he goes from deflection to reflexes. Mm-hmm. And then he goes to close combat expert. Nice. Yeah, and he's got precision all the way through. So yeah, and it's running shot to side step, so he's always moving seven range. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this guy's good. Yeah, you're gonna see a lot of this guy. I feel like we're gonna see a ton. Oh man. Yep. So um, it says he. Black Adam just found a new support piece. Um, <laughs> carry him around. Yeah, I know, right? It, include a number. <laughs> are these? It says during force construction, you may include any number. So, are they just um, like on him or something? They're because they're it's on his card. Include... Oh, it says put. Does it say put on his card? They're not equipped. They're on his card. Okay, okay. Uh, on objects card. on this card for three points each. I wish, you know what? I wish he. Um, I wish this was. I I wish it was considered uh, equipped, but he can't equip anything else. Because if they were equipped, that, he'd, that, it'd that be would be like his Achilles heel. No, but like it would, I think it it would make it a little bit more balanced. I mean, I guess we don't know how strong, but I have just a feeling this guy's just going to be nuts. Just because you're going to pick, not only do you have pick a power, because you could pick two, but yeah. it's power plus. Because remember, those have the effects are, let's say, let's say you picked a barrier and what was in the, what, let's say you did barrier and TK. The Z- the zero and the spin ringers, yeah. Okay, let's say you did those two. Well, normally when you pick a power, it's barrier and TK. But this one, you're getting barrier, TK, and more. You're getting the free thing. And free the barrier free for one. Thing. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. the free move a guy one. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I, 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 you know, like, there needs to be a way to to counteract. The freeness? <laughs> no, just like having, just having these yeah. on him. Because you, you're like, you can't get, you know, like before... Used to be able to find a way to to like get rid of an uh, entity on somebody. Uh, yeah. Like like okay. okay like when I'm I'm the answer I'm thinking about is onslaught because when he punches you you he takes the uh, or mini slayer. Stuff yeah, exactly stuff yeah. like that right. Okay but yeah something because, okay yeah something so, to count, he, yeah. so he just like has it you know yeah there's nothing you can do he just has yeah, it. nothing you can do and and you know it's not like well yeah you, but he's like 150 points like no dude he's like under 100. So question, uh, say you outwit barrier and then you have the zero ring on. If you, can they still, they can't use the free barrier for one, right? Yeah, because you just can't use barrier at all. Oh, that's what I thought, yeah. So regardless, be outwitting powers that they can use for free, I suppose. But the spin is just place one, right? The within what? Three. The spin ring is just place one within three. Yeah. So, so you can't really there's have, like all you can't these... outwit that, yeah. 
Oh, that's rough. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be good. I, they, they got a Ooh, good him one. Him and Taker. I feel like this is a... Uh, this is like the Nick Fury slash... Goblin King? Yeah, or you know, Batman? like the, the, the... Of the super rare variety, you know, like the... Yeah. Where everybody wants... Where I think the price of this might be like the same as like a chase. Like, uh, was it well, uh, SR Wolverine? From yeah, X-Men. there you go. There you go. That's what I'm, there. That's a better analogy. Like SR Wolverine, right? Right. Yeah. But no, and, Nick Fury of its time, Goblin King of its time. Yeah, that's true. Uh, before the nerf, like Goblin King was ridiculous for oh, SR. Yeah. He was, yeah, he was like so. 75 bucks or something, like 60 like, to 75. And then like, nerf. Nick was about that, like 50, 60. Uh huh. And Wolverine, yeah, got to like, 80. <laughs> the Wolverine got to like hundreds. Yeah, probably. It was like yeah. over 100. Um, stupid. He, so now here's what I want to know. The rings are unique, correct? Mm hmm. All right, good. Just checking. Because they're guy... special objects with the gear symbol. They're all, all the, they're all unique. Because he's not. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. <laughs> he doesn't have the silver ring around his uh, card. At the beginning of your game, uh... oh, during force construction, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, just check. Yeah, because okay, they're cool. all, they're all, all the special objects have that gear symbol that makes them unique. So, okay, we're good. And then there should be one more, I think. Technically, you could play two of him with different rings on each. Yeah, you can. That's true. So you so can a... you can do that too. Yeah, food for thought, guys. It's only 140 points plus rings. Well, Alrighty. it's yeah. He's it'll be as high as 170. And then there's Jeez, one more. Yeah. And oh, uh, there, six, is it right now? Six, oh, those, yeah. oh yeah. I think this guy's pretty good. Let's see. I didn't read him earlier. Let's so, see. Uh, so for take on the value is really good. Okay, so he's 100 points. That guy. Taking on properties of any element free. Choose an adjacent square terrain type and absorbing man can use the corresponding powers and abilities until you choose again. Oh, wow. Okay. So wall markers remain. Use the wall marker as a reminder by positioning it on the chosen type. Okay. So you just put the wall marker next to the type of terrain that you're using. Mm -hmm. So if he's using obscuring terrain, he has improved movement through elevated and blocking Super senses modified speed plus two. Um, if he's using the hindering, it's improved movement through hindering. He has stealth, regeneration, modify attack plus two. Yeah. Uh, if he's copying the blocking, he has improved movement through blocking. Yeah, see, that's good too. Super strength, close combat expert, and modified defense plus two, which makes sense, right? Uh, water, improved movement through water. Uh, poison, shape change, modify damage plus two. Jeez. Yeah, man, so I'm liking that hindering in water. You uh, know what I like about him? Yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. It's, 100 points. You know, he's 10 clicks, which is great. And he has steel energy from the third click on. So mm -hmm. he's like always going to be healing back up, hopefully. Yeah. But if you look at his dial, he reminds me of an old school pre-carded figure. Yeah. Because his defense so goes from long. 17 to 16 to 15 to 14 to 13, right? Oh, God. And yeah, if eight. you look at the attack, goes to an 8. And the movement goes to five. Those are those are pre-carded stats, and the length of the dial is the same. Like that's cool. I like it. it's a throwback because if you look by the third click, he's a sixteen defense. That's of course, true. you can go to the uh, uh, blocking. Yeah, you go to blocking. He gets plus two defense. I you know that's why. But man, his Dude, you know, know. If, if you're able to get him on that. Do stuff on the first click. He's he's either going to be a thirteen attack, six damage, nineteen defense, or ten move, or a yeah, six that's, charge. Jeez, yeah, that's really good. I yeah. think, yeah. So he's got Wrecking Crew, Masters of Evil, and Lethal Legion with the Masters yeah. of Evil team ability. Sculpt looks beautiful. I think this guy would be fun to play with. Also, uh, I yeah. think I got to give him he'll whoever, be good and sealed. Whoever designed this, it's a very very well designed figure because. Cool. It doesn't have. It's not too. It doesn't look like it's too powerful because obviously it's a it's a melee guy, so you can mm. still shoot him on the way up. But it gives you a lot of playability in terms of choices to make. Like you can play him differently than just like a point. Yeah, and shoot. depending on what map. Yeah, 
that's that's really cool. I like I, you know, and uh, the dial design's nice too because you know it's not like he's going to be too hard to hit. Uh, he should have some longevity because of steel energy and the masters of evil team ability. He should be able to like colossal stamina to stay alive. Yeah, you know, and also hit. So he's got flurry lower down. So yeah, because like deal back up because like you can masters of evil regen. Exactly. So Just keep hitting. It's pretty good, right? No, no, I like it. So okay, yeah. Th- these are those are. Those are two really good ones that they got. Nice. And I think that's it for him. All right. So let's scroll down. Loading. So I really like that that Mandarin. He's pretty good. Uh, was there more previews? Yeah. These are our winners. Yeah. <laughs> and I think oh, it's man, just I gotta me tell you about the one of the best games I saw this this weekend. There was no so more. Think, uh, not. Keep going. Oh, that was it. Me, it's me spamming. The, the website with all the cool collective uh no but like it, no there, there should have been more no Not but you have to today. look at the date no 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 like we haven't been on for a week okay all right we'll go through all the pictures so i got some good photos there's some really cool there we yeah, go see look these i told you all right bam so click this you know is this from Eternal Games? Yes. All right. Azuri. Azuri. Uh, you will not take Wakanda. When a friendly character with the Wakanda keyword attacks an opposing character that's closer to your starting area than your character starting area, that character modifies attack and damage plus one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I think that'll help out Tony's oh, Wakanda yeah. team. Yeah, that's why he, 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 he's like ready to play this. Because <laughs> I don't think he has a prime on the team yet, does he? It's like Storm, yeah. maybe. Yeah, he has. Oh, he has, the other uh, Black Panther. Yeah. Uh, that's a tough choice, so. Uh, let's see. Wakanda Chieftain, the Black Panther. Exploit weakness, leadership. When Azuri KOs an opposing character that's closer to your starting area than a character starting area, remove an action token from each friendly character with the Wakanda keyword. For 40 points, five clicks. Pretty uh, good. Top, good stats, top right? Nine charge, eleven blades. Because he's a prime. Yeah. Ooh, but you have the tough choice of the three damage or the or the blades. It's uh, <laughs> quite, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I like it. It'll be good and sealed if you pull a lot of Wakanda. All right, Melter. It has the assembled thing, sure. Yeah, that's assembled vault masters. Mm-hmm. Uh, Iron Man, my mortal foe. Opposing characters that can use impervious or invulnerability modify attack minus two when attacking Melter. It's very situational. Uh, let's see. Again, Melter's another your weapon. It's like, um, what's the name? If you're armor, you, get, you have no defense? Yeah, yeah. Um, this one says if you can use impervious or invuln. Damn, there's a lot of hate for <laughs> Iron Man. I know, right? It's like hate, an Avengers man. set. Hey, at least we're getting villains. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Melt, uh, melted your weapons. Psychic like penetrating blast. When he hits with it, give a melted token to a hit character if they don't already have one. Oh, yeah. If they don't have one already. Uh, for the rest of the game, a character with a melted token modifies damage minus one when making range attacks. Uh, so, again, rather situational, but yeah. have you very seen... uh, anti Iron Man. Have you seen Melter from the Invincible Iron Man? He doesn't look like this. At all. No. He's green and orange. Was his name Bruno Horgan? I don't know. Like, bring it up on the realms. Look up Melter. Look. That one. Look at that. Yeah, no, what's, no, he looks. What's it? <laughs> Look at those pants. What the heck? What is, what's his name? Is it the uh, same? Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, okay. Weird, huh? Hey, yeah, no, I don't know. I think the the new one looks a little better. I like yeah, the colors, but he, but they look nothing alike. No. So this guy could be good. Oh, he's got a someone for Jason Wingard to use. Yeah. All right. So he has the assembled bolts and masters. It's the same thing. Uh, so he's got another trait: back up my consciousness, shape change, power. 
Uh, generate a robot dupe bystander, Max 1. When the Shane Smith would be KO'd, if his robot dupe bystander is on the map, instead turn him to click 6 and then KO the robot dupe. Yep. Uh, plasticity, stealth, yeah. sidestep stealth. And he has perplex. Pro movement through hindering. But look at the robot dupe. Ugh. Yeah, that's kind of rough. Six. Uh, movement, no, nine it. attack. No, oh, no, I'm looking at the stats. Oh, no. the robot dupe of uh, yeah. robot duplicate of my enemy. Good. When dupe starts a game, choose a standard opposing character of a hundred points or less. Okay, here we go. Robot dupe has the robot keyword in addition to the chosen characters displayed combat values and displayed standard powers. See, there we go. <laughs> that combat may change too. as uh, the character style clicks. If it the chosen character isn't on the map, robot dial dupes his okay, printed one. Okay, so that's actually really good. Um, there's a yeah. lot of less than 100 point figures. You want to copy Kobik, uh, you want to copy Adam. Dude, you can even just pick. You can even pick like a retaliator because they have like, sort of has like a twelve attack, you know. Yeah, that Iceman that keeps coming out killing everybody. So that's yeah. This has a lot of potential. We have robot keyword, which I'm liking. Yeah. Uh, skeleton crew and masters of evil. Ninety points though. I guess that Pog's worth it though. Yeah, probably. I mean, he's perplexed too, and he he's hard to kill because of that Pog. So, all right, next, because we we just need to cover all the other stuff. All right, Doctor Strange. I don't think he's good, but uh, go beautiful piece. Yeah. All right, Pat doesn't think he's good. We're not going to read it. Well, and I mean, back. go ahead, just go and just go it's real trash, quick, Pat. It's trash. All right, summon everyone from the battle. He's got props, uh, so he's got to look at him. <laughs> Uh, so he's got the phase and teleport, but only if Doctor Strange isn't adjacent to an opposing character. When Doctor Strange uses it, you may generate a portal marker in the square he began or ended movement in it, removing any other portal marker. Other friendly characters occupying or adjacent to the square with the portal marker can use phasing teleport and modify speed plus two. Yeah. So. So he can't phase unless he's not next to somebody. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's like a weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's okay. like a cool teleport kind of follow but everyone's all tokened and it's not good so he's got a defense power uh, allow me to assist you super senses defend but when friendly characters replace their defense value you may choose that replacement value to be the higher or one lower than the printed defense it's okay. not bad because yeah. so that part is okay because uh, on the back end, he can uh, support, defend them, right? Is that oh, right? yeah. Put him down to a 16. Yeah, to 16. Or up top, it's a 19 defend. That's much better. So he's got... But, like, having no phase, you don't fly, he doesn't you don't carry. carry. Yeah, that's uh, true. Uh, he doesn't have movement attack. Well, no, he has traded phasing, but oh, only if he's in adjacent. To an opposing uh, oh, character. Oh, no, no, I, I wait, what, did I say phase? I said he doesn't have, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, he does have phase, but, like, if you lock him up, he's just stuck. Yeah, he can't carry, yeah, he can't. Yeah, that's what I mean, he can't carry, carry and he, he doesn't have passengers, he doesn't have moving attack up top, he has to take a click down, which is not good. Yeah, so. I mean, the defense power is solid, but, um, like, would you want to pay 75 points just to sit there like that? Maybe, I don't know, I don't think so, though. Yeah. That's not not really worth it. You know, he's soft too, right? Like super sense defend. Like you can just kill him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, that, that's that's like a that's a solid like precision poison. strike. Yeah. But and you right whatever. The... He's he. You cannot win him, which is good. He's yeah. got mystics. All right. But good stats. Just not being able to have a kind of like a weaker phasing and no moving attack. So. Yeah. So so that's it for the non-Scott uh, supporter stuff. Okay, so let's uh, let's go over the trial. Yep. Let's do oh, that. Man. The hidden gems too. I know. We'll get that next gem? week. Uh, yeah. okay. So here we are on our Open Series website. This is the uh, mother page. 
Oh, yeah, look at the front. Oh, shit, look at all that. We oh. updated some cool stuff. We'll go over you know, that. Let, hey, let, before we go in there, let's look at the uh, the top the top 10 elements going into this weekend. That's last okay, week. that makes sense. So, the all ten, right. yeah, so the, the, these are going to change because uh, we're going to have uh, all the data now. We actually, these are only from the winning lists from last year. The, the yeah. winning and the top four, top two, top eight. Now we're taking uh, the data now from every single list. Mm -hmm. And the master st statistician, Jeff, is the one that's doing it. So, Excellent. I think to the surprise of nobody, Groot is number one. Always. Yeah. So 20 points, leadership, and two pogs that kick everyone's ass. Yeah. And right? he's got... Plasticity, flurry. And he actually has, damage. like, three really good keywords. It's ruler, cosmic, and... Um, monster mm -hmm. um, especially ruler now because of mandarin Ugh. yeah and the plus one to attack and defense when not it's just yeah that, that's just seen, like so. the same and it's still seeing play now um mm -hmm. nighthawk prime uh, that's cool uh that a, a like a golden age figure a non-modern figure is in there mm -hmm. uh, nighthawk is still i think we had a couple nighthawks this weekend too tricentil yeah. surprising i'm not that surprising it showed up a lot in the in the um, at the end, <laughs> the fall, yeah, the fall series. Uh, that's open a little bit series. surprising, yeah. And number and Magneto too. That that's a big one. Uh, I think the Magneto is going to be rising because okay, as of now, the Construct team I believe is the best um, archetype right now. However, okay. you want to build it, you want to build it with uh, Sapphire or Green, or you want to go three Constructs, or you want to go Ultron Drone, whatever. Yeah, but. I think that is the. I think we had like four people play it this weekend. There's a lot. <laughs> There's and, a lot, you know, and it's just really, really strong. Um, so you have to have an answer for it. So yeah, that's why Magneto is uh, going to be up there for sure. Yeah, he is. Um, I already started looking at the numbers from this past weekend, know, and right? oh god, all, all those constructs are yeah. are on the list. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. So then we it's went down to the the Magneto. Um, so I didn't specify what Ultron. Yeah, no, that's use. fine because it doesn't matter. We just we just know that they're playing a drone. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's actually pretty surprising. I, I did start taking. Five. So I have the main number, and now I have the individual ones that are being used. Oh, okay. But, but yeah. I, I'm surprised that uh, you know we were talking about how nobody was playing it, and it's actually number five. So that's pretty and, good. Yeah, there was enough different ones splattered in the future, the yeah uh, eight or six or whichever one. So and mix, of course. Uh, has been everywhere from the, Dude, that's, the that's, beginning. I thought, wow, that's crazy, right? And I, I believe that you'd see more Q if... Uh, I still think expensive. he's really hard to get. No, that's what I, I mean. I think you'd see him if it wasn't so hard, if it wasn't so expensive. Like Resistance of Futile sold out, right? Um, Yeah. But it's just also, there's nobody out there that's really selling Qs for like under 300 or 250 or whatever. It's very hard uh, to get which... it for under that. Somebody would have to list it on Facebook. That's true. On on uh, eBay, it, it's that's not it's not readily readily available for two hundred. Yeah. So, um. Uh, Lockjaw Con LE. Yeah, that's uh, of course. It's probably one of the best support pieces ever created. Just you know, every all every, around. every piece so far, aside from maybe maybe Magneto, are um, support pieces that. Mm -hmm rarely attack exactly right like uh magneto is only one that attacks because nighthawk prime rarely leaves the starting area groot only attacks very rarely because he needs retail same with tri-sentinel ultron drone is call-in migsy's there for dice lockjaw is there for call-in or support so we have six and and it's not like magneto's a world beater either right no so he's think about also it also i mean for one yeah seven <laughs> the first seven figures are not like attacking pieces interesting yeah they're not huge beat sticks uh number nine is black panther this is the beat stick yeah number eight uh, sorry yeah yeah that's uh, chase and beat that's stick, both battery yeah combo of both uh and then surter oh. another the support decal. yeah and then mr oz yeah that's uh, you know what's weird i i didn't think they would see that many mr ozs but yeah, that that makes sense, you know. Like he crept up just Dude, as, like, I would that love TK. to see that 
co- that scientist team because Mr. Oz fits the criteria for Kryptonian scientist higher points. Dude, it's yeah. I would it's love good. to see that. That's kind of cool. Zach so. can jump along with Chip and the the rest of the yeah. Eagles. Come down in March. All right. So most played sideline. No, well, let's do the, the game additional a- first, yeah, additional game yeah. elements first. Um, I think we all we all right. could have just automatically assume Green Arrow is going to be number one. Seven. Yep, one and two is Green Arrow on level seven. Level Storm seven. prepped up like Storm like skyrocketed in because of the as soon as that as, as after Worlds like and that as Ooh, Guardian Storm became like, readily available, yeah. <laughs> everybody's playing her. Yeah, and then Sapphire Battery. That's yeah. So the the top the top uh, resource is the Sapphire Battery for 2019. Yeah. Bat signal, of course. Yeah, everyone's loving the bat signal. Phoenix, um, Phoenix Force, Phoenix look Force. at that. Second best uh, resource. What was Blue battery. Cyclops, Cyclops, Batman. So we have how many IDs? One, two, three, four, five IDs. Five IDs and what? Three resources? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, three resources okay. and the rest Dude, are just... That's cool. I like the bat signal gamma bomber on there. That's awesome. So they're... They're like a special, unique object that doesn't... You can't equip, you can't hold. They're just sitting there kind of ticking down. Or, well, the gamma bomb's ticking down and the yeah. bat signals. Well, no, you can hold the bat signal, but yeah. it has like a special effect. Um, it's not a equipable cool, object, I should say. Yeah, no, I think it's cool. Cyclops um, made it all the way. Yeah, Cyclops still there. Okay. The student. Top 10 right, most yeah, sideline, yeah. All right. So, huh, Green Arrow, Nick Fury. Surprise. <laughs> Uh, Hawkeye Chase, again, yep. Storm Ellie, the uh, Asgardian Storm, and then Beast Common, the to go with the Beast ID. Yeah. Hulk Super uh, Fly, Thor, yeah, Cyclops. Look at Storm Prime. Yeah, I, I still Wolverine. think she's a little harder to get to than the Asgardian Storm. And you know, I I feel like this storm will will not. I don't think it'll go up just because there are so many other primes people will try like nighthawk or q mm-hmm. like you and, and if you're just using storm as your sideline then you're not really you know it's probably not gonna work so yeah. i i'm even surprised she's that high because there are you know more primes to, to try out now a but, lot more yeah. yeah so we haven't done the maps yet but we're gonna do that but yeah i can i can do a preview i have it ready if you want no nah, next because we we have to get through that we have three trials to go over all right, let's go to our Bronze Age top lists. Oh, oh, I updated this. Look at that. Whoa. Oh. All right, so we are on oh. January, February. All right. No, the, go, go right. to no, 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 no. Go to do this last because I, I have right. a lot to talk about. Hold on. Well, yeah, okay. We'll go with the uh, Gun Guy Games. Yeah. For All right, so Corey Franklin with his Ruler Plus Five theme team he's rocking black adam prime uh, jason wingard ultron uh, 18.2 drone serta retail Groot retail mini slayer object venom symbiote object yes. and a uh, power power plant with what eight rings one six two, three four five six six rings uh he had 20 points of ids he had the storm bounty green arrow and double level seven ids Dude, nice I love team. the, uh, I love the mixing of like ideas, right? It's like a Black Adam, Jason uh-huh. Wingard, and uh, it's like uh, let me take all the good stuff, put yeah. it together. Yes, <laughs> yes, and they're like, wait, and they all have the same keyword. Let's do it. Yeah, no, no, and the power plant. Um, yeah, power plant's cool. I like it. I'm uh, I've been practicing more with it, so I'm getting a little more familiar. But it, it's a cool resource. Oh yeah, it, it, there's a lot of tricks you can do. So many things, um, but the uh, what it's how many IDs does he have? Three, four, four. So he's the but look at look at Jason Wingard's um options. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So he has the the Nightwing with the uh, the Pog that has Perplex. Yeah, Tony Zuko, Perplex. Tony Zuko, support. Doctor Dominicus, uh, Sturgeon, and then Isaac. Stegron. Stegron, sorry. Um, yeah. Doctor Dominicus's bystanders are ridiculous. Yeah, those things are. If you can give them willpower, uh, <sighs> it's nuts. Plus one stats. Oh my god! 
Yep. <laughs> oh, it's so dirty. Uh, they all get, right. They get they get plus one. If you burn a ring. Oh, you're right. You're right. 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 I was like, wait, they just get plus one if you're Jason Wynn carding them. Yeah. Uh, no. No. If you burn a ring, like they get plus one. Their stats are already like twelve four. Yeah. They're like nineteen eighteen, and yeah. Yeah. Go. It's. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. All right. I know so that we're... some people like to play. They like to try the. Uh, what's the one? Um, the one that makes the 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 um, God, what 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 am I talking? It's from the Avengers Infinity. Oh, it's Kiss Chick. Me. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, her pogs are okay. They're pretty good. I mean, they got like if you look at it, it's like running shot pen blocks with four damage outwit. I know. I feel like... like power cosmic, but night to not have that as an option. I was like, hmm. yeah. I think it went for the stagger on the uh, the bigger beefier ones. But here's but here's the thing. Here's why I don't know if that would be. Maybe you get options. Fine, but yeah. those things are are like better because they're more mobile. Like remember yeah. the the Stagron guys are just they're dinos, so they move really slow. They do. So it's going to take a um, while, right? Whereas also the uh, does Jason have flying? No, but the uh, so he's probably but, positioning Jason around to drop the pogs with no yeah 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 of course but you can still do that with the other one um yeah but more importantly the kismet has uh those things have power cosmic oh the pogs do yeah so you can like push that's good yeah yeah right i did not know that yeah it's called here let me show you what are they what do they make them they make um enclave so the cosmic enclave. Yeah, check it's this like out. Scientists, right? Yeah. Uh, Our cosmic. There you go. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Look at that. No, that's look at that move. Yeah. But you know, it's, like the reason why far. you get to ch- you get to cheat is because you have to make the the scientist to get this to get this. But with Jason, where you just get it. Exactly. So having this oh. just as an option, having the pen blast with a, a willpower outwit running shot, like it, it's good. So, yeah. I mean. Maybe he just didn't have room and he just decided for that. But uh But you know uh, what I, he did I, have room for though. Kobic on the yeah. side. <laughs> See, I asked uh, him if I asked him if he got to use it, he said no one played WWE. Exactly, dude, but he was what? ready to use it. <laughs> I sold a uh, I sold a after that I sold a Kobic to one of the uh-huh. guys because he, he bought it. And he goes, Yeah, I heard I heard and just just in case someone plays, I want to have it for my show level seven. Nice. There you go. Very cool. Uh, so that, yeah. All right. So we'll go to. Clicks wait, wait. Collect. What did he? Do you know what he played against at all? Uh, he won thirteen zero. I, I didn't see what the other team was he played against in the finals. Yeah. I don't. I have all the lists, but I don't know what's on the finals. Yeah. I'm. I'm gonna put. Yeah. I have to put those. I have to finish. I just. I just put these up like real quick, just so we can get it up there. Yeah. But he. Uh, you know. Apparently, it was like there was like that last turn where he could have done something. He survived and. Yeah, well, 13, 13 is what? Like a student ID and maybe something else. Yeah. 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 Student ID Sounds and two like... ID cards, maybe? Yeah. Both, uh, yeah, all three failed. Super sense, super sense, super sense. Uh, <laughs> but... Killed the pogs. I don't know. All right. So, uh, Paul Cote got first place with his Undertaker mini shredder. This, what, um, is... this is somewhat Landers was talking about, right? Yeah. Um, but he was doing. A little different with the red power battery. Um, but yeah, similar. So he had the Undertaker mini shredder assigned to the Phoenix Force. Because the he had th- dark- three of the figures, three of the figures were what he told me he was going to play. Surter, Mini, and Undertaker. I, I believe that's what the team was, right? Yeah, and then yeah. there was something, other stuff on it. But like it was yeah. another figure too. But I think it was a group. But uh, the Darwin, I think. Yeah, was Darwin definitely. Pick a power stuff? Or right, go ahead and finish it. <clears throat> yeah, ahead. so Darwin... Surter, uh, Phoenix Force with only four fragments attached, uh, 15 points of IDs with the Storm Bounding, Green Arrow, and Black Widow. Uh, there was one big pick a power piece. Uh, it's about as big as you get at 275 points. So, this uh, is Yellow right. Goblin. Did he, uh, did he pick powers every turn? No, okay. Danny did not. Okay. Um, there's a couple turns where he didn't pick powers, um, until he needed to, and then. Oof. Yeah, it was it was just a bad matchup. 
Is that dang? Would that even be worth it? Picking a power just to like take the dam, take the unavoidable. Is it worth it? He felt that it was. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, if that was right. It wasn't. It wasn't till he went into attack, or to do something. But mm-hmm. I don't think. I think he healed back up, mm-hmm. and then he got hit with a crit hit, and then it was over. But um, this this is so how the, the team just works, just like a like a kind of like a shredder type team, right? You just mm-hmm. run up. But Undertaker has the added um, protection, plus he's hundred points, so he could call in bigger guys. Exactly. Well, there's no one else he can call in other than because many can call in all these guys anyway. Uh, yeah. How is he using the Undertaker just to just Move submission up, them or position what? carry mini? Um, it's like a taxi for mini, right? So he can move mm-hmm. nine squares with mini, and then he can move another uh, seven. So that's what sixteen squares if he mm-hmm. need be. So he's got range. Move out, call in. Um, I believe he was putting the Namor on Undertaker so we got a little further move. Extra move, yeah. Yeah. And then there was the magic on Mini for the Mystics. But and he played, yeah, it was effective. Uh, so the final, that's what I want to see. That's what I'm going to talk about because I'm going to put the second place on here too. But the second place team was uh, Animals, right? No, second place team was Diego's oh, no, it was, team. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I saw the Animals team, but it was the uh, the better suited team. Yeah, better suit. That was I really like Diego's team. What was uh, he? So what was he doing with it? It was Kovic. Right. It was interesting. Uh, Captain America resilient, and who was the other one? Uh, Phil Coulson, zero eighteen from the movie set, the rare. Okay. Um, so he's using the tradecraft to pick different powers with Phil Coulson to support. Uh, yeah. Most of the time, he would switch out Captain America for Green Arrow. Dude, that's awesome. Carry him around uh, to where he couldn't be shot back from the hin- uh, from the blocking. Just right. sit there and shoot people. Kobik is support, right? Um, she's also a call-in battery. 100-point call-in battery that gets moved around with Coulson. So, it was... Uh, he did really well. Um, I was... I was... But it, it came down to placement at the end yeah, and, that's pretty yeah. cool though i mean so did did kobe get to do the you can't use your wwe um what did he have to say i don't think he yes yeah, he has colson yeah yeah no i think he yeah i think he did um i was taking pictures at the beginning of the match so i didn't see the first opening turns mm-hmm. but i believe that's it would make hope he did because you can shoot <laughs> you can shoot now yeah <laughs> so that's funny but yeah, no, he had a good team. I was like, "Are you gonna play it again?" And he's like, "Probably not." I'm like, "All right." <laughs> but yeah, Diego yeah, usually no. comes with cool, cool ideas too. Him and Wes, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, so now for the big moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah, we had a whopping fourteen players. Richard so it was, it was good. Um, to the I like to say we had th- three of the top five players playing. Um. Two of them in the top Because we did court. rank them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Richard with the Unimind just... So he switched it up hard. It's yeah, he's just like, you different. know what? Screw it. He's like, look, <coughs> green battery to stop all the stuff, which actually, man, green battery is like... That is the... That is the call right now for the meta. That is because, the coup de gras. Yeah, to, because... To stop it. So he's playing... He's, so it's basically like a modern, right? Unimind Lockjaw. Yeah. But instead of like... Groot, Flora, shit like that. You're playing a green battery. <clears throat> green battery and ion. So Unimind is protected, just like how Dave has it, right, with the ion. Mm-hmm. But it's with the green battery on him, Unimind gets plus one to his stats too. <laughs> right? He's already big because he has all the perplexes. Now he has an additional plus on everything. Yeah. He has the ring wall bulldozer, and which is really cool is he would, you know, do the wall trick, but also the bulldozer trick, where like Unimind would either running shot pulse wave or running shot hit or whatever hit with the bulldozer, hit them off or knock them into something, or Lockjaw would running shot pulse wave and then knock them into stuff too. 
Nice. That is so, very good. Yeah, uh, Shield Level 7 and Batman. It's Murder Machine, Batman, uh, Trinity War, Nick Fury, Hulk, Makari, Thanos, Prime, and Thanos, the Copter Thanos. He loves um, that Murder Machine. Yeah. The what? He... Murder Machine, yeah. Oh, man. Loves... Okay, so against against Rob in the top, um, in the top four, uh, Rob had positioned all of his guys together. And and so this is what you know. I, I didn't even bring this up, but you know he needed a ten. But here's the thing. Uh, he didn't. Uh, Rob didn't realize that Murder Machine can see through blocking, because he yeah. asked, "Oh, you can see through blocking?" Because there is a blocking terrain that's stopping uh, him from shooting into Tri Sentinel. Yeah. And and this way, you know, one of the things I, I, you know, this is and and this would we we came to the discussion about like, oh, he got lucky, and I'm like, well. You, you, I didn't bring this up, but I'm bringing it up now. And this is what I was trying to make the point was like you don't see the things. This is why you have to like someone outside will see it, then you'll see that. Yeah. You positioned your guys all next to each other. You didn't see that he was going to call in a murder machine. You didn't see that he can see through that blocking. So that's all your fault for putting him in that position. Number one. If he, ro- if you don't put your guys in a position to get energy exploded. There is a 0% chance. Okay, so let's say you need a 10 to hit. All right, it's a 9 because it's a 20 on an 11. Mm -hmm. You need a 9. You roll a 9, whatever percent that is, it's like 30% or something. It's not in your favor, but A, he has three probs on his side. Yeah. Or you don't put your guy in a position to get energy exploded, then he has a 0% chance. Right of getting energy exploded. Of getting energy exploded. That's the same thing as when somebody does this, right? And and I I I've seen this a few times over the years. Someone will say, "Okay, uh, you have invulnerability, correct? And mm-hmm. I have two damage. Uh, and I need to roll like a ten to hit you. Okay, I have a ten attack. You're twenty. I have a two damage. I'm gonna hit you. You have you have a perplex to perplex something. You perplex. Uh, I've seen this. You perplex your defense up. Yeah. So now it's a ten on twenty one, right? I need an eleven. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So, an eleven. Okay, eleven. If I have a perplex or some way to boost my damage up one. I can hit that 11. And then now you take the damage. Even though uh, your... Um, the odds are insurmountable. The odds yeah. are, are not... Okay, now here's here's another way. What if I just perplexed your damage down to 1? Yep. Now you like... I was having this discussion with somebody the hit. other day. Yeah. Not, like, now you, now you, you, you crit... You crit... It's the 2 damage is 0. So that that that's the thing. So, uh, you you are making it so that they need uh, an eleven to hit, whereas they need a twelve to hit. I'm sorry, that that's the example I was trying to make. If yeah. you perplex, if you perplex their attack down so that now they need an eleven to hit you instead of a ten, uh, they can still crit to roll that twelve to hit to take the extra damage. So like three percent, right? Whatever, right? But if you just perplex the damage down then they can they can't like like mathematically can't damage you yeah it doesn't happen yeah because if you even if they roll a 12 you don't take damage so like in this situation i know i probably explained that really bad but i've seen people do this i'm like dude why don't you just perplex this you know like why don't you just perplex the damage down so that they can't they don't even have a chance to damage you um micro decisions yeah so tri sentinel was next to isaac who was next to Sabretooth, who was next to magneto who was next? It, who was behind the pogs, Mister? Sin- you know, like it was a party. Yeah. yeah. And murder machine. You just call. He just called the murder machine and just shot through, broke one of the things, and was able to because he broke that one square can hit the trisentinel. Hit rolls the ten, energy explodes. Trisentinel's dead. Everybody. So trisentinel's dead. Two pogs are dead, and then like two constructs take a hit. Like Magneto takes a hit and um, Sabretooth takes a hit. Well. 
guess what? Murder Machine just proc three times. Because he killed like three things. Well, now he hits because he has two targets. Well, I'll hit another pog and another pog. Well, guess what? Two of those pogs die. Two more things proc. So now he has like four attacks. Three or four attacks, whatever. And yeah, then yeah. He, he hits Isaac to mm -hmm. the stop click. Guess what? Isaac makes the pogs again, right? <laughs> so the, the pogs come out, and then guess what he does? He, I'll just double target again. Hit both of them, procs two more times. Ooh. So, you know, but but he's looking at the he's looking at the fact that he rolled a nine or he rolled a ten. Didn't look at the fact that you positioned your sentinel one square too close to get energy exploded, and didn't realize that murder machine can see through that blocking. So in that in that scenario. And then in the game, uh, towards the end, Richard needed to roll a 10 to basically mm. win. And through his prob, he gets it, wins. So the discussion is, well, he got lucky because he rolled two 10s. Mm -hmm. No. You fucked up because you positioned wrong and you gave him a chance to roll a 10 first time. And because of that, it snowballed over to the point where he, you gave him a chance to where he needed a 10 to hit. Yeah. At, at that point, that it point. was a point of no return. Yes. But yeah, but the, the, the point is it's like, it's not, it's not that one vacuum. It's not that one. Uh, it's not the one role that uh, decided it. That That's like my point when I'm always making, you know, and, and like, to me, I just feel like, I'm, You're uh, saying it's it's him being allowed to make that role. Yes, like why the, even give him a the, chance? The incident was, yeah. Yes, as a, as opposed to the outcome, that should have never happened had you done this, right? Yeah. So and it's and like, that goes and that goes uh, into a greater mentality of how you look at the game. Anyway, so Richard plays uh, Steve in the finals, and Steve's playing the construct team with what. Battery um, sapphire, sapphire. Yeah, and he's playing on the uh, light cycle map, which is really good for Magneto. Yeah, because you're you're knocking everybody off of the buildings, <coughs> or yeah. off the ledges, right? Jeez. Yeah, and um, Sab it's good for Sabretooth because Sabretooth ignores hindering and elevated. Yep. Yeah. So he's so, just running all over everything. Yeah. So for you, Shredders. <laughs> it was a really good game. Um, uh. Richard ended up knocking out Magneto and Sentinel, so he got uh, whatever. And he got a uh, Unimind to the last click, and he needed to uh, connect. Two things needed, either one of two things needed to happen. Either Richard missed the impervious roll mm -hmm. to pop Unimind, or Steve needed to hit uh, on one of, uh, like, on one attack. And Richard rolled the imperv, and Steve he does not have improved to what uh, elevated, right? What's that? Unimind. Unimind doesn't have improved elevated. No, no. Uh, that's rough. Yeah. So, but uh, he ended up. Uh, it was it was a really close game. It was really good. Um, Steve maybe would have had a, a a chance if it had you know there was another turn, but you know they had they had played quite a bit of turns. You know, um, Steve went I... right at him on turn two, dude. He was just like. I think he got him to the. I think he got him to the stop click on the turn two. Well, I saw you post. Oh, Unimind's on a stop click. Yeah. Good game. Like it was over. Yeah. Oh no no like. Uh, you know what I meant to say? It's a good game. Oh okay. Not I thought good you game. said like good game like. <laughs> no. Side R Unimind. I'm like. No Dang, no no no. Rich, turn that well, shit around. <laughs> well, he needed he needed to get through the Emperor first. Yeah. Jeez. Oh. Um. And actually, what uh. Uh, yeah, Richard did actually. It, it kind of, it kind of. Uh, I, I guess it kind of backfired a little bit uh, on Steve just because Magneto took like extra, extra damage from hitting walls and falling off stuff. Oh, the map choice. Yeah, because like when you when when uh, when Unimind's pulse waving, and he has a bulldozer, he's doing the same thing to you. Do the same thing. But it's actually worse because normally in one attack, Magneto only takes one. Mm -hmm. But now that you're falling off, you're taking three. Or you're hitting a wall, you're taking two. 
Yeah. That's like getting flurried. No, yeah, that's so it, it just kind of made it pressure. just like a in, um increase the uh the clock, so to speak. But yeah, it was a good game. Um right. that was definitely uh it was a it was good to watch. Like everyone here was like really um like in you know into it. But um did you get a chance to record it? No. No, it's you know, there was there was just, just too many people. <laughs> Well, yeah, you said yeah, you you didn't have enough seating. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we, I was like, sorry guys. Uh, who likes to play standing up? Okay, you guys don't get chairs. <laughs> uh, I would have sent you a couple. Um, uh, and uh, oh yeah, and Rob played his construct green team. Yeah, same um, team, right? And so check this out. He plays in the Surprise last. Surprised he didn't switch it up. Um, he didn't think he was gonna come. Yeah. So he had to. Uh, he had to. Uh, just play what he had because uh, normally he comes in it's like printed out and everything he just came in and he started writing it down i was like oh my gosh he's like why well, didn't i gonna come i was like oh shit okay he played against oh, i i felt i felt so bad for anthony so anthony barragan is a uh he's he's kind of i mean he's newer to the competitive scene but he uh-huh. broke through the top four this time which is cool nice. with emerald empress oh i saw that team and, all right you see the picture go go to that picture on there uh, and I'll tell you, this is the best game of the day. Oh my god! The people that are watching were like, "Dude, this is the sickest game." Um, it's uh, oh probably, no, probably not. No, it might have been your mobile phones. Yeah. Uh, let's see. It. Oh, right there, right there, right there. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So that's split Very lip cool. behind. Split lip, Emerald Empress, Mister Oz, uh, Nighthawk. Yeah. And he has a Phoenix Force, and there's the Eye of Agamotto. Do you see it right there? Uh huh. That's why we were doing. Remember, we were talking about the Eye of Agamotto. Question. And there's does a the Emerald. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I just had a question real fast about the Emerald Empress. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, does her relic go on the object list, or is it? Nope. It's just like okay. a. It's like Bill. It's like the guys that start with this stuff. Okay, well, it was on the relic. I didn't think it, it was on the relic list, but I didn't think it was supposed oh, to be. Oh, yeah. There. No, I mean, I was just confirming. Oh, he put it on the. He, he wrote it down. Wait, what do you mean? He wrote it on the objects, one of the three. Oh, he did? No, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not because it's, she starts the game with it. Or, yeah. yeah. She starts the game with it on the. And it even says on the card, I believe it says it doesn't, stop, it doesn't count towards your uh, objects. Yeah, that's but, what I thought. Yeah. And so he has the oct- octopus arms too. So it was yeah, like all the. So this is like version 1.0 that I had originally talked about where, the you, relic. Had, where you had the Eye of Agamotto. Oh, that was sick. So he picked it up every round. Nice. That I saw. And so the Eye of Agamotto, no shape change, no super senses, have perplex prob, but only if. Only in your attacks and uh, if like you're mystical. Nice. And she's mystical. Dude, that's uh, good. Yeah. So. He plays against Rob in the top, in, or like goes into the, into the top four. Uh huh. And you know what Empress is, her whole thing is right. Uh-huh. It's speed powers as free. Yeah. Well, green battery. Can't do nothing. Oh my god! It was, anything. It was just over. Yeah. You, like in that game, they were done in like ten minutes, and I almost I was like, dude. Rob could have literally just moved Magneto up by himself and do nothing for the rest of the game and just still kill her. Yeah. Because it can't do any... Like, on turn one, you free action to pick up the relic because of split lip. Yeah. And then you're done. Well, it's like Green Goblin going against a Pulse Wave team. Yeah, I know. You're like, have a nice day. (laughs) Oh, yeah, dude. It was... uh... Oh man, it was brutal. And I, I remember Anthony. I was like, I was excited that he he played. I was like, oh, this is great. But you gotta you gotta. Uh, it's like a minefield because there were three green batteries that day or on Wednesday on Saturday. Yeah, that was I was surprised to see so many green batteries. But yeah. hey, dude, there's a lot of free. There's a lot of stuff that does free now. So I mean, and remember, Rob was the one that said, I'm gonna switch to green because it's more control. Like it's it's more of a control. It's a better and thing. Also, yeah. And also, I was thinking about. Choice. I was thinking about this. Uh, 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 pieces like Darwin and like Sheriff, not Sheriff Strange, I guess to an extent, mm-hmm. but Green Battery are very, very 
very effective, but they're 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 like controlling pieces. And in in normal games, like other competitive collectible games, the control aspect of the game does not come until the format is defined. Yeah. By that I mean everybody knows what's being played and then the control comes in because the control needs to control something. And if it doesn't know what to control, then they don't know. Um, yeah. They, you don't know what to do. Right. So it, in card games, it's, it's, they're the answer. It's the answer to the problem. So they're all the, all the regular decks in the format for a card game, like magic the aggro. Yeah. Let's say there's it's all aggro. Like they, they know what the, the problem, what are the problem? It's this, 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 well, if you're playing something controlled, then now you're like, well, I got to find answers to the problem. And that's what the control does. So in that parallel, the green battery is the answer to the free stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of so, free. I think, and that's why Richard also played it, because it just hoses a lot of things, you know. Um, yeah, no, that makes sense. It's good. And uh, and now this is, it's what, we got Unimind from Runner Up and then Unimind Winning. Jeez, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, right? and so, so Andy but, did it without the Nighthawk. Yeah, uh, yeah, he did it with the Lockjaw. So that's a big difference. And he yep. did it so, with a different resource. It's a different. Yeah, it's like a, it functions way different because uh, it's a different control, right? The Nighthawk was the stat control, and you get yours, and they don't. So it's like it became. It made it so it was very hard to hit you because they don't get the bonus, but Unimind does. And good luck trying to hit an 11 on 21, right? Yeah, no, Multiple it's... Um, Richard, his version is just controlling the, in, like, a, a wider net because yeah. there is a lot of ways um, that people abuse free, free, free. So, yeah, it was, uh, I think it was, a, it was a good choice. I think that um, green batteries should be seen more and... The constructs are are a problem for the not a problem in the sense that they're too strong, but you need to have an answer to the constructs. Otherwise, you're just gonna you're just gonna lose because it's really hard to score points on them. Yeah, you got to deal a lot of you have to attack them a lot of times or deal yeah. multiple different ways of damage to do do that. So you know, two I, quests. Oh. I, I wait. I feel like I feel like the shredders are just wrecking them though. Oh yeah, unless. You get taken to Tron uh, Light Cycle Battle or Battle Arena. It's just a hard map, but they it also makes have it the theme. harder. Yeah, it makes it harder, but it's not. It's not. Um, it's not. It's not uh, impossible because yeah. you could still actually attack them. Yeah, it's true. Right, you, I'll, just, I'll just charge and just hit you anyway. And it's still hard to hit them. Right. Right. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, definitely. So one question: Do you think Richard is going to play the Unimind team again going forward, um, or do you I think he'll he adjust? Did, he did say next week at the Comic Cult one that he's going to play some bullshit team. <laughs> Very clever. Well, yeah, because he already won. He got his. He got his buy. He got his entry. So he doesn't have yeah. to worry. Now he can actually try stuff. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah no, that can, makes sense. He can be Wes. Try stuff. <laughs> um, and then. Two, now that Unimind is so popular in the Bronze Age format, do you see Daniel Pell trying to compete? Oh, dude, did you look at his did you look at his comment? Uh no, what'd he say? Oh man, go to the Richard picture. Richard. Oh, there we go. I love the green battery choice. Limited outwit protection for uni. Uh willpower for lockjaw. Reverend Spectrum, combined with a great pilot like yourself, Uni. Yes, you are See? a great pilot. So, all right, Dan, come Look out. Look how happy he looks right there. Dude, bring your... I know. It's ecstatic. <laughs> hey, check this out. So, he's wearing the... He's wearing a Green Lantern shirt underneath. Nice. All right. And he was wearing the green... And he's playing green, right? Yeah. And then he goes, oh, man. He's like, yeah, did you get the picture of me with my, my, my Green Lantern shirt? I was like, Richard, <laughs> you, you covered it. Oh man, we got we got to retake that. <laughs> but I'm like, see, yeah, you covered we it. We got to be rocking one of these. Yeah, and he should. Every time I see you, Richard, you have a Green Lantern ring. I know he 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 was wearing the ring, and he uh uh and he had the green. He had the eye. It was everything was there, man. It was cool. Oh, you know, I All said, right. you know, what? you only needed to play Kyle Rayner, and you would have been set. 
Yeah, so congrats to the three trial winners, uh, Corey, Paul, and Richard. Hope three different teams guys. again. Yeah, hope to see you guys all at March, uh, March 7th, for the Majestic Open Series 1K. It would be yeah. very cool. So let's uh, look at, real quick, the uh, the rankings page, huh? Because that's a new one. Where is it at? Uh, rankings. Got it. I can, I can see that. <laughs> it's right there. Uh, oh, here look at how sexy that is. Boom! Looks much better here than it did on my phone. <laughs> but I no, know, everything else on the site is so mobile app uh, like compliant. But yeah, I look at this, I'm like, what the fuck? Maybe I just make this page not. May, yeah, but this looks great. Let's take a look, yeah. All right, so Corey, Paul, and Richard as numero uno with uh, their 10 points. We got Diego, Zach, and Steve eight. rocking eight points in their uh, fourth rank because there's a... Uh, you know, a lot of ties. Danny, mm -hmm. Robert, Brian, third. Uh, Anthony, Chip, and Craig Yori in fourth. And the list goes down from there. Yep, uh, so we have yeah, 27 players on the, on the list. And Adam Friedman is the one that's uh, keeping track. So it's good because you're doing the stat numbers and he's yeah. doing the rankings for me. All right, Adam. Here we go. Two yeah, logistics. It's good, man. Um, and we got to finish voting on the, on the modern stuff. So I think once you see the map list, it'll be interesting uh, for our votes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I already told some of you, like, Amok Time's already gone. Yeah. Underground Cabin's people, gone. People aren't going to know what to play on. They're going to be like... <gasps> you know what's funny? When they said that, I was like, is there anything? I'm like, yeah. Take a look at Labyrinth. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. I So as you know, I, I, I pulled out some of the older maps that we voted on, and I picked up a couple of ones I didn't have. So I had about for people to look at, and they're like, Oh my god, this labyrinth. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, people yeah. Are, yeah, people are getting excited. Um, yeah. So we'll trim down the map list, adding some old ones, and that'll all pop off on March 7th at the Open Series. And then we have one coming up this weekend on the 19th, right? Yeah, so go up to the um, home page. Yeah, home page. So I actually updated some more because um, I got more news. So boom! Look, there's only one. There's only one left. Oh, okay. So we're all filled. I Except thought I needed to find one more. Well, because uh, Ben came through Orc Slayer. You see how they're on there twice? Okay. Um. So the one up there, Justin is running it. The one on the twenty third, Ben's running it. Oh, so they get to take turns playing. That's awesome, dude. Uh, he goes, yeah. You know, we're gonna do the twenty third. I was like, oh, dude, that's sick. Nice. Um, okay, I'll let the other store that they don't have to worry about. Have, it. So we're gonna have three in Arizona. Nice. Very cool. All right. Like, so you know, I, I gotta, I gotta just. But here's the thing: so until that mission, unless the until the Tucson one is done, we need to. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, just be wary. But Comic Cult is a uh, two p.m. on Sunday. Yeah. It's good. And then uh, Paladin game. Paladins Game Castle in Bakersfield, February first. Yeah, it's good man. February first. Damn, that's gonna be a busy um, month because uh, there's Whiskey's opens too. But I don't think any of the uh, what weekends was Aaron's. Uh, it's not until like the last weekend, right? Yeah, the 29th. So, so and the twenty second is the other one in California. So the first uh, like wait, half a month north, is free. Where's it? Oh, like Hesperia? Uh, Chico, I think. I thought Chico. Oh, Chico's was the up 22nd. there. Is that not gonna take anything away from Ernie? Now that I look at the date, I believe Chico was the twenty second. I'll have to. I can go look on the win. How uh, how far is Roseville from Chico? Uh, do people go to Chico from Sac Sac uh, Roseville? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think. So, like, I know Joan and all them go to Chico, but they won't go to Best Series anyway. Oh, so, okay. I'm not sure. It may be fine. I don't think. <sighs> that means you go to the Best there is. Yeah. That's fine. I'm not too excited. See, but Landers it wants that duck. Well, tell him to go, and you, dude. You know what? You each split. Bam, got it. It's true. Oh, that's gonna be a tough. I have to split my play group that day. Then <laughs> we may have to yeah. work on a different day. I'll have to double check about that. Yeah. So that yeah, I mean, that's only the that's only thing I can think of for Ernie. Um, the only other thing that he could do would be. The last week of January, because that that's open right now. 
Yeah. Six. But it might be too close, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's getting close. It's like less than two weeks away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll worry about that uh, when we end this podcast. Um, what, uh, uh, is there anything else? I think that's it. Oh, um, I think that's it. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, <laughs> the breakdown pricing for the cash. It's four, two, hundred, hundred, fifty, fifty, fifty. Yep. Okay. Just wanted to be clear. Yes, sir. Somebody was asking me about that today. Yeah. And I, I uh, actually, that. if you go go up to the one K, click the one K tab. I think it's on there. I think if, if I didn't mess up. One uh, K where events. Got up it. There, events. Ah. One K. Here we are. No. Thousand bucks split between top oh, it eight. Have the... Okay, never mind. But um, I believe I was pretty sure that's how it went down. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, and I have a question to ask you about the dice uh, when we're done here. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure that because I only have enough for um, two more. Okay. Alrighty. Well, so, that yeah. was our podcast oh. for the day, guys. Thank Next you week, listening. we're going to go over the the all the numbers after um yes the new updated numbers for this for the next sunday's event yeah. hopefully and um the past three this weekend yeah yeah so but yeah um hope everybody who's uh in the area that's going to be playing at comic cult i think they're, i think they're going to get like 10 because it's kind of cool because a lot of people want to um they want to get the they want to get the points yeah, if they're uh, yeah, they they all want to get the points, so yeah, it's exciting. Um, are the uh, are the you know like I'm sure Corey's gonna come down to the one K, right? Uh, him, Brian, and Chip are planning nice. on coming down right now. Nice. Uh, I believe oh. they just booked their Airbnb. Nice. Got a uh, you know, shout out, thank you to the guys up there in uh, Pacific mm-hmm. Northwest, uh, Chip, dude. You're awesome. Thanks for uh, running running the event. I know you wanted Man. more, but you know it is the first time that you guys are trying the format. Hopefully, you guys had a good time. You know, hopefully, you can do it again. Um, we'll see you in March, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Be so, good times. So I'm excited. I guess uh, until next time, guys. When in doubt, perplex the attack. Don't forget to practice. So you nice guys, take it easy. Coach.